Arabian Life Before Islam, A Glimpse into Pre-Islamic Culture and Society With the advent of Islam in the 7th century, the Arabian Peninsula underwent a profound transformation that reshaped its social, political, and cultural landscape. However, to fully appreciate these changes, it is essential to understand the Arabian territories before Islam. This region, characterized by its diverse tribes, unique lifestyle, religious practices, rich culture, and economic activities, was a mosaic of various influences and traditions. Here I will request you to like, share, and comment on the video and subscribe the channel. Please do not forget to press the bell icon. Before the rise of Islam, the Arabian Peninsula was predominantly a tribal society. The tribes were the fundamental social units, with loyalty to the tribe taking precedence over broader political structures. Each tribe was led by a sheikh, a leader chosen for his wisdom, bravery, and leadership qualities. The sheikh's role was crucial in mediating disputes, leading the tribe in battle, and making decisions that affected the tribe as a whole. Tribal conflicts were common, often resulting in feuds that could last for generations. This constant state of rivalry and warfare influenced many aspects of pre-Islamic Arabian life. The harsh desert environment of the Arabian Peninsula shaped the lifestyle of its inhabitants. The Bedouins, nomadic tribesmen, were the quintessential representatives of this way of life. They roamed the desert in search of grazing lands for their livestock, primarily camels, goats, and sheep. The Bedouins were renowned for their skills in navigation, horsemanship, and survival in the arid desert conditions. Their lives were characterized by simplicity, resilience, and a deep connection to their surroundings. Hospitality was a revered virtue among the Bedouins, and the harshness of the environment made them reliant on the principle of mutual aid. In contrast to the nomadic Bedouins, there were also sedentary communities living in towns and cities, particularly in the western region known as the Hijaz. Prominent urban centers like Mecca and Yathrib, later known as Medina, were hubs of trade and commerce. Mecca, in particular, held a central position due to its religious significance and its location along major caravan routes. The city was home to the Kaaba, a sacred sanctuary that attracted pilgrims from various parts of Arabia. This influx of pilgrims contributed to Mecca's prosperity and made it a melting pot of cultures and ideas. Religion in pre-Islamic Arabia was diverse and polytheistic. The Arabian tribes worshipped a multitude of deities, with each tribe having its own pantheon of gods and goddesses. The Kaaba in Mecca housed idols representing these various deities, and it was a focal point of religious activities. Among the most prominent gods were Hubal, the chief deity of the Kaaba, and the three goddesses, Alat, al Uzza, and Manat, who were associated with fertility and prosperity. Alongside these polytheistic practices, there were also communities of Jews and Christians, particularly in the northern and southern parts of the peninsula. These monotheistic religions had established themselves through trade connections and migrations, adding to the religious diversity of the region. Cultural life in pre-Islamic Arabia was rich and multifaceted, with poetry being a particularly esteemed art form. Poets, known as Shair, held a prestigious position in society and were considered the voice of their tribes. They composed qasidas, long odes that celebrated tribal virtues, victories in battle, and the beauty of the desert. These poems were recited at tribal gatherings, markets, and festivals, serving both as entertainment and a means of preserving history and cultural values. The annual Ukaz Fair near Mecca was a significant event where poets from various tribes competed and showcased their talents. Cuisine in pre-Islamic Arabia was simple yet hearty, reflecting the resources available in the desert environment. The diet of the Bedouins primarily consisted of dates, milk, and meat. Dates were a staple food due to their nutritional value and long shelf life while milk from camels and goats provided essential sustenance. Meat, particularly camel meat, 
was consumed on special occasions or during feasts. The sedentary populations in urban centers had access to a more varied diet, including grains, fruits, and vegetables obtained through trade. Spices, such as frankincense and myrrh, were also part of the culinary tradition, used not only for flavoring food but also for their medicinal properties. Trade and commerce were vital to the Arabian economy before Islam. The Arabian Peninsula was strategically located at the crossroads of major trade routes connecting the Indian Ocean, the Mediterranean, and East Africa. The incense route, for example, facilitated the trade of precious commodities like frankincense and myrrh from southern Arabia to the Mediterranean world. Mecca and other trading centers like Najran and Petra thrived as caravan hubs, where merchants exchanged goods such as spices, textiles, leather, and precious metals. The Quraysh tribe of Mecca played a dominant role in regional trade, establishing lucrative commercial networks and alliances with neighboring regions. Governance in pre-Islamic Arabia was largely decentralized and tribal. There was no overarching political authority uniting the entire peninsula. Instead, each tribe governed itself according to its own customs and traditions. Tribal councils, composed of elders and influential members, made decisions through consensus. Justice was administered based on tribal laws, with retribution and compensation being common practices to resolve disputes. The concept of blood feuds and vendettas was prevalent and tribal alliances and rivalries shaped the political landscape. Despite the lack of centralized governance, certain cities like Mecca had their own administrative structures. The Quraysh tribe, which controlled Mecca, played a crucial role in maintaining the city's status as a religious and commercial center. They managed the affairs of the Kaaba and organized trade expeditions, ensuring the city's prosperity and stability. The Quraysh also negotiated treaties with other tribes to secure safe passage for their caravans, demonstrating a level of political acumen and diplomacy. The advent of Islam brought sweeping changes to Arabian society. The Prophet Muhammad's message of monotheism challenged the existing polytheistic beliefs and practices, calling for the worship of a single god, Allah. Islam also introduced new social and moral codes, emphasizing justice, equality, and compassion. The tribal loyalties that had long dominated Arabian life were gradually replaced by a sense of unity among Muslims, known as the Ummah. The political landscape was transformed as Islam provided a framework for governance based on religious principles and the leadership of the Prophet and his successors. In conclusion, the Arabian territories before Islam were a diverse and dynamic region characterized by tribal loyalties, a harsh desert environment, polytheistic religions, rich cultural traditions, simple yet nutritious cuisine, and thriving trade. The advent of Islam brought profound changes, reshaping the social, political, and religious fabric of the region and laying the foundations for a new era in Arabian and world history. Understanding pre-Islamic Arabia provides valuable insights into the context within which Islam emerged and the factors that influenced its development and spread. Thank you for watching.